Look at this style. Doggy style. On them clouds. Check my fouls. <laughs> it's nothing to get the party jumping. <laughs> Man, I'm just, you know, trying to stay active, man. Y'all got one job. I got a hundred jobs. Sometimes I gotta I gotta answer the same questions a hundred times in thirty-five minutes. That's what I was figuring. But it's nothing to a boss. Here I come a stepping in the dawn. Here I come a stepping in the dawn. Posted up the wall, here and I'm a star. Posted up the wall, here and I'm a star. I'm like a, I'm like a lion that see a deer when I hear good music. I get turned all the way on, like I'm ready to go kill. You know what I'm saying? So that was like a bunch of deers when I kept hearing all that new music and ideas because I was in a fresh place. Usually when I'm in the studio, I'm in control. I'm the one dictating. And, but that studio with them guys, I was just at peace. So I throw some out and add on to something that was already rocking and rolling. Diplo is great. Uh, his track record, and he also is, is embedded in the reggae world. And I felt like he was my Chris Blackwell. He was my, you know, my piece to my reincarnation. You know, the white boy with all the soul. Just seeing where he could go, how he could take a party and turn it out and rock a crowd. To me, I was like, if I could take that energy and put some positivity on it, wow. Like to tell reggae songs the way that they were supposed to be told with love and peace and struggle, but with that sound. Everything was happening as we spoke. Like while we was filming, all of that was happening. It was all taking place. So it was spontaneous energy. It was like, you know what? Damn, I got the peace and the love. And you just gave me the struggle because you're going through the struggle. It's, that's, how, that's how magic happens. It's like, whether it's in the studio or on screen, when magic happens, it all comes together. And that's unscripted magic. That's not no magic where you can write that and say, okay, now you say these lines and you say this. It's just a moment. Put your lighters up, get high with me, fly with me, ain't no dividing us. East side, west side, north side, south side. I got a lot of songs that I did that um, got like a reggae rap feel to them because I didn't want to give up rap yet. You know what I'm saying? You know how you always say I'm done with it and finished with it, but then you end up going to the studio and you make a song that got rapping in it and reggae because you torn in between it both worlds. So to me, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I got a couple of those kind of songs that's like, are you rapping or are you reggae? I'm one of the greatest hip hop performers of all time. And I say that and mean that because I, you know, James Brown schooled me, Charlie Wilson schooled me, George Clinton schooled me. I was spooned and groomed by the best of them. Now this reggae thing, that's why I'm missing Bob Marley. I wish he was here to show me a few tricks on what to do. But I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out on the flizz eye and make it work. They gonna love me, call me Black Chutney. All go chrome with the diamonds in the back.